Field live stream. I'm Corey Dunham, joined here by Patrick Bach uh, from Dice. It's just going to it's been it's been great uh, having the chance to sit there and see all of the different uh, things throughout the event. I know that uh, I asked you the question of you know how's the event been for you? Uh, you've you've been busy. Yes. You've been very busy. <laughs> yeah, I've been in interviews all day. You know, everyone wants to talk about the game. Uh, so I haven't really been around on the show floor yet. I <laughs> I try to you know when I have time over I go to this booth you know to see all the all the fans playing Battlefield. So it's quite quite impressive. One of the things that I think is really really cool too is that uh, not only are the players just trying to hop into the game, uh, but they're also trying to educate themselves mm -hmm. right out of the bat, trying yeah. to get that early start on yeah. uh, others, and also those are. Uh, that are kind of pulling different, they're taking screenshots, they're mm -hmm. taking information, and they're sending it out and saying, hey, check this out, this is yeah. great, these are the new additions. Um, some of those new additions that I think is great, of course, Levolution, that mm -hmm. being implemented is not just a kind of an environment change, it also yeah. changes the metagame, the dynamic of yes. the game, uh, and I think those are huge pluses. What are some of those, uh, for those that are just tuning in for the first time uh, here in day two, I yeah. uh, didn't have the chance to watch day one, what are some of those different things that we can see there with uh, dealing with Levolution? I think, yeah, Levolution is a, is a concept that you know, encompasses you know, everything about the, you know, how the map plays out. We, we want to create a, an environment that is you know, extremely dynamic, both when it comes to the the second second action of the players, where you can you know you can shoot fire extinguishers to to hide in the hide right, in, in the, the in the smoke screen, uh, you know you have like alarms going off when you jump onto a car, for instance. You can hear where the enemy are in the environment. Uh, we have bigger things like you know the classic destruction of walls and and smaller uh, structures, and then of course have the big uh, skyscraper on this map uh, that right. you can actually take down, uh, and then. After that has happened, after that event, you actually create a big dust cloud that covers the entire right. map. That creates a new environment for all the players on the map, uh, especially for uh, people like helicopter pilots that have a very short uh, view distance and, and snipers that, you know, all of a sudden right. it's not as effective. That's one of the things that we've been seeing all throughout day one was uh, whenever that skyscraper would fall, uh, the debris coming yeah. out there. I mean, it makes it difficult for even uh, some of the recon classes mm -hmm. that are trying to, to make some shots. Yeah. So let's go, go ahead and uh, go down that route as well. Uh, talking about the uh, the different types of attachments for some of these uh, primary weapons, mm. uh, having the ability to have uh, an optical, but also a secondary portion of that, a second attachment with uh, some of for which we like a a, a, a canted, yeah, canted uh, iron sight yeah. as well. Yeah, so we have we've done a lot of stuff to to enhance the you know, the core you know shooting experience. You know where guns now have even more accessories, uh, also you know, deeper customization. So you can even customize your handgun now, right. uh, which is very very cool. You know canted size, you have alternate optics on your guns. So you can you know flick over and get you know uh, X12 on uh, on right. your on your gun. Uh, so there's a lot of you know big and small things that, uh, you know, both for the, you know, hardcore Battlefield fans, but also for the newcomer, that is quite exciting. Something that I also noticed, so I remember that you're able to, in previous versions, you'd have the ability to change from a burst fire to an automatic yes. to even a single shot, mm -hmm. and that's still here involved in Absolutely. this game. And one of the things that I also uh, saw as well in the recon with the sniper glass or having mm -hmm. the ability to to actually change your focal zoom, having the, the seen the, the your range yeah. finder. Yeah, as well. yeah, there's a range finder in the for the recon class, and and also uh, you can also have multiple uh, zoom lev levels, right. uh, which is very very cool. So you can actually go from a you know four x zoom to a twelve x zoom uh, in right. in real time, so to speak. It's and it's and it's great. So for those of you that are at home that are questioning if you have to pull your gun away move the attachment up, mm. it's all synonymous, it's just sit there and yeah. you have one attachment it. and it just clicks yeah. back up yeah. there. It's very quickly, you don't have to break from being yeah. uh, from being iron sighted. So yeah. I think that's a great ad uh, addition to it as well. So one of the questions that we've seen uh, numerous times over and over again mm. uh, was the difference between your small medic pack yes. and, your, and your medium size. Yeah. Same exact uh, thing for yeah. your ammo as well. Yeah, so the, the idea is there, you, we want to create a more mobile experience where you actually, when you run around and you don't have time to you know, go up to your squad mate and stop them and drop a med pack. You can actually throw med packs at them more or less to give a, a small but very effective boost uh, for their health. So it's a very mobile way of seeing uh, med packs and ammo packs. It's like basically sitting there uh, for uh, for anybody who's a parent out there saying, "Here's your lunch. 
<laughs> have fun, be good. All right, go on your way. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. the same thing with uh, <laughs> having a, a good time there with the, your health or ammo. So that's what you're seeing out there. So, mm -hmm. And for those that are questioning as well, if that uh, this small ammo packer ends up uh, on the ground, you can still get healed or uh, get yep. resupplied as well. So yes. uh, there, it's not as if I throw it and I miss you with yep. it. It's still effective yep. at that point as well. So. Mm -hmm. There's some other questions that are out there. I'm, I've seen uh, some uh, images that show uh, vehicles that have been uh, kind of on one side, and it it was made the assumption that uh, you had the ability to shoot out tires. I've already been told, uh, but can you get dive into that for me? Uh, I we don't have you know shooting tires right. in the game. No, uh, we we talked about that quite a lot. You know, we have the uh, we have the ability to you know demobilize vehicles that right. we introduced in BF3 which we're still you know, uh, tweaking and tuning because we think it's a great uh, addition to the game. So that's kind of partial, uh, partially what you're doing if you take right. out the tires. But this is a more of a systematic way of doing it. So you can do it for all vehicles, even treaded vehicles. Um, so you can't take out individual tires. So there you go. So that yeah. I, just wanted to, I just wanted to have some, yeah. uh, some clarity out there for those. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, the community does a great job of trying to speculate yeah, great. every single aspect of the game. Yeah. I was even uh, looking at some of the things that are out there saying at 1.05.2, <laughs> this is what I saw on the bottom right-hand side yeah. that stated this. But mm -hmm. uh, in, in all reality, there's just, there's, yeah. they're, they're just do a great job of but trying to assume everything that they I can. Think, I think that's great. That's exactly what we were hoping for because, you know, we can only go out with so much information information in an interview or you know in the in the live environment Jeez. on the EA press conference so you can only right. show so much so we wanted people to be able to dissect the game yep. during this live stream doing a great job <laughs> of it uh, because there's so many you know things in the game that we have changed that we can't really list and and, and talk about in a in a fast way Right. So having this live stream is a great way for us and for our fans to actually look deeper into all the all the detailed you know improvements and additions to the game. So I think I'm exactly. I'm very very happy about this. Let's go ahead and here in just a moment we're going to give you mm. some more gameplays. You probably noticed behind us that they've already started to filter in here. And so as we go ahead and hop into the game here, yep. um, so one of the things too, I mean it's it's you're right. It, the the idea behind having just one person try to answer all the different types of questions even for alex mendez and myself uh while we're watching these games happen i mean i'm trying to digest every single bit of information that's on the screen i'm trying to even speculate as much as possible but uh you know the many is better than the few in this type of scenario where you have millions of people watching yeah. we've, we've seen the, yeah, uh, the that are out there. there too so yeah no no, no i think it's uh, you know the battlefield has always been a game with great depth uh, so it's really hard for people to to grasp it in the first couple of minutes you can see the core you understand the world you understand what it's supposed to do and then you can explore that world and and find you know depth in almost every area of the game you know if you're a pilot you can find depth if you're if you like to play as a recon, there's infinite depth. There's so many things to do for each and individual class and individual uh, focus area for for the players. And I think that's the one of the biggest strengths with Battlefield that you can actually honestly use your personality to to conquer the battlefield. And I think that's amazing. I think one of the other beautiful aspects is the uh, the squad side of things too. Whenever you yeah. sit there, uh, I've watched numerous types of games. I've been at uh, the casual level, at a very high competitive level, watching a bunch of different games. And the communication, both casual and competitive, yeah. are above and beyond any other games that I've watched. I mean, yeah. the fact that it's so educated and saying exactly where they're watching, what they're doing, how much ammo they have, the, the support behind each other is just great. The fact that you'll see variations in classes, you'll see a recon support, uh, even have an engineer and assault all coming together and working together to get uh, one type of goal. And that's just one of the beautiful things. Right here you can see some pop shots uh, down range here by Alpha 5. Yeah, I think the, 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 the cool thing is that people want to work together. You know, they see the benefit exactly. of working together. They get, they get a lot of, oh, what happened? I, th it, I think he finally <laughs> killed him off yeah. there as he came in. Uh, so people f find it very natural to, to work together. And you can see that that actually deepens the, the game for everyone on the map. It's not only a game about you. It's a game about you and your team winning together. And that creates a very, very uh, holistic uh, feeling 
uh, where you you want your team to win rather than you want to just you know shoot people personally. Right. And so some of the other aspects that we that we've seen, of course, um, before we uh, just like in Battlefield 3, you had the ability to set down a motion sensor yep. uh, and in your recon class. But also, I've noticed. Uh, that you have some uh, motion balls that you can actually uh, throw yes. uh, your motion sensor out there yes. as well. So that's that's part of the mobility focus that we've, we've had. I think they've done a great job with the with all of those features where uh, you feel more mobile. You can you know throw things like med packs, uh, motion sensors, etc., right. uh, which feels make empowers the players uh, to to get more intel about the about the enemies and the surrounding world. Uh, but also then having the ability for the commander to you know scan the whole area for a certain amount of time uh, gives go, gives the whole team a benefit uh, of this. And I think the uh, the cool thing here is that it works on a small and a big scale together. So it's not different games. It's actually the same game, right. and everyone is playing together. I think it's one of the great things too. Is that we're talking about uh, multi-tier levels. Uh, I'm on the base tier, so for instance, here on Siege of Shanghai, I may be in the residential area. But yeah. I can toss up um, a, a small medic pack up to the second floor to my teammates yes. when they need it most. They may be under gunfire from two different individuals. While I'm having to rush or back around to be able to get uh, get on the flank, I can at least give them some type of uh, mm -hmm. small med pack to be able to help yeah. them out through that process. Yeah. And I think it, it, it's interesting to see when you give people the ability to help each other, they will actually start doing that. Uh, and I think that's a very, very powerful uh, theme um, where people actually want to help. Uh, that's, that's not something you see in every shooter today. Is there any other la last little things that you want to kind of note that, that, that we really haven't dived down deep into? I think, I think you, we've uh, touched upon some really, really cool things. That's a nice shot. Uh, um, no, but it, it's interesting to see you know, that that the game at its core works really well, and I'm I'm loving the fact that people, when they watch the live stream, that they pick up on all the nuances right. that we changed with the game. Things that you might not be able to sell the first time you see the game, but when when you see it running live like this, you actually see all the small things that we change as well. So you get the full range of, of improvements for. Battlefield 4 compared to Battlefield 3, for instance. Right. Uh, because to us, that's very important that you don't only have these big things that you, know, you could argue is like, oh, I don't care about those things, uh, the, the hundreds of hours uh, that I'm spending in the right. game. Uh, so I want, you want depth in, in all of the different small areas. Yeah, so it's been it's been good. I mean, so what what we've seen uh, throughout. I mean, you're ex exactly right on the fact that we when we listen, uh, have the chance to actually listen to the community and get their input of what they see. Uh, it's 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 just been great. I mean, it also along the same times, whenever you have some type of uh, speculation out there, then it allows more of a, maybe that might be a good feature to add into the game. Maybe we might. I cause I, I definitely yeah. know that Dice listens to every Absolutely. aspect, and I appreciate you hopping on here with me. Uh, we'll get uh, allow you to kind of relax for a moment in between all of your all of your interviews that yes. you've had so far. <laughs> a pleasure having you on here, Patrick. Thank you very uh, we'll much. Get a, Thanks uh, again. Alex back on here in just a moment. Yeah. Uh, so uh, yeah, again, we'll just continue to watch more gameplay. So stick around uh, here watching the Battlefield 4 live stream.